Hello, uh, thank you for watching. My name is Anakin Alice and you can find me at www.yarnaddict.co.uk Today I'm going to show you how to deal with dropped yarn overs or missed yarn overs. Um, if you forget to do a yarn over or you drop it and you discover it on the next row, so the wrong side row after you should have worked it, or within a couple of rows later, it's quite easy to fix. The more rows you do after you forget the yarn over or drop it, the more rows it drops down, the more difficult it gets to fix. But if you forget to do a yarn over or you um, drop it on the uh, return row, so on the wrong side row after you worked it, then it's quite easy to fix and then there's no need to rip back. So that's what I'm going to show you today. So at the moment I'm on the wrong side row and I got to the point and there should be a yarn over here and there isn't. I've forgotten to do it, what do I do? So all I need to do is pick up that strand that goes between two stitches. So the top strand, if you can't see it, if your knitting's a bit bunched up, just pull your knitting out, pull your needles apart, pick up the strand that goes between two stitches, put it on your left hand needle so that the yarn goes from front across the needle to the back, and then you can just purl if you're on the pole row and that's it that's your yarn over so let's try that again so one two three so i now got another spot where i haven't where i should have a yarn over and i don't so I pull my stitches apart a bit just to tighten it up so i can see the strand i'm looking for that's the strand that goes between two stitches you see that? I lift it up, put it on the left hand needle, make sure that it goes from front to back so it sits the same way the stitches do. If you knit combination knitting or Easter knitting uh, and your stitches normally sit the other way around then you will have to adjust it. Okay, so um, normally for most western knitting styles the yarn should be, yarn should be going from the front across the needle to the back. So the leading leg is at the is at the front okay so you just pick it up put on the left hand needle and then purl it so I'm knitting along quite happily and I realized that there should be a yarn over here I'm looking and I'm thinking I haven't got enough stitches there's a yarn over missing now I know from looking at my pattern that that yarn over should be here but I'm on the right side row so that means that the yarn over wasn't on the previous row it was two rows down. So it was on the previous right side row. So that strand represents the previous row. The next strand represents the next row down. So each strand represents one row. Okay, so that's the last row. That's the row below that. So all I need to do is count one, two strands down. If I pull that strand out to the front of my knitting, and then I can just loop that top strand through it. And then I've picked up the yarn over and knitted the next row. So let's do that again. So it's not the top strand because that's the previous row, it's the second strand down. Let's see if I can get a bit closer here. So it's not the top one, it's the second one down. I pick that up and pull it to the front. You see I still got the top strand there. And then I just loop the top strand through it and then I picked up the yarn over and basically pulled the following row. Let's try it again. So that's another drop yarn over. So that's the previous row, that's the row down. So if I lift that one up, pull it to the front, and then I loop the other yarn over through it and put it on my needle. So now I'm going to show you what to do if your yarn over was like a couple of rows, several rows down. So I've just dropped the yarn over here. Uh, it's created quite a nice big hole. So here, I know that I should have had a yarn over there. So sometimes you may struggle to work out exactly where your yarn over is. Now you have to look at your pattern and see if you can work it out. This has actually created quite a big hole because I just dropped it, I cheated a bit. So I know that that's the last two rows. That's the last wrong side row, right side row, wrong side row, right side row. So I know that that's where my yarn over should be. So I pick that strand up, I loop the next strand through it, and then that's the next strand, so I pick up that strand and I basically just knit it. Pick up that strand, next one, and I just lift it through like that. 
So I'm knitting along and I notice that I come to this point and I think there's something not quite right here. I've just done a decrease, double decrease, so I slip on it two together past slip stitch over and I'm thinking this just doesn't look quite right. If I look on that side, this is a, a sort of mirrored um, yarn overs. So the yarn overs go out to the side like that, so like diagonally out like that from the centre. So I got one, two, three there and one, two, three there. So looking at my pattern, if I look at this side I can see one, two, three yarn overs. If I look here I've got one, two and they just don't look quite right, it just looks a bit messy. So let's work out which one it is. So I'm thinking that's the top one, that's the next one. That looks like where it's missing. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to slip these two stitches across, not that one, just that one across, because I've got to make sure that I pick that yarn over up and take it up the right channel. And I'm going to work out that that's the, that's the yarn over other one on that pair. So I've got a pair of yarn overs missing. That's the other one on that pair. And I know from looking at my chart that there is one stitch in between. So I know that that's where my yarn over is going to be. So I'm going to use a little crochet hook. Um, so that's the top. Each one of these strands is one row. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's where my yarn over is going to be. The sixth row down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick the yarn over out, up, take that strand up, pull it to the front. And then I'm going to go under the strand above it. So I'm actually gone now behind that strand. That's the yarn over. Let's see if I can get it closer. And then I'm going to go under the strand below it and I'm going to pull that second strand through the first strand. So now I've got a hole there. You can see there where my finger is. There's a, let's see if I can, there you go. It's a hole there. So then I'm going to go up to the next strand. So the next strand is that one. I'm going to pull that one through. Now if I have the stitch like that with the crochet going through like that with the hook pointing upwards, it's a lot easier. If you've got the hook pointing downwards, it'll twist your stitch and then you've got to take the hook out and put it back in. So if you keep your hook pointing upwards, it's a lot easier. So now I'm going to find the next strand, which is that one, and pull it through. Next strand, which is that one, pull it through, and then the final strand, which is that one, and pull it through. Now you may find that it feels a little bit tight. The further down your yarn over was, the tighter it will feel. That's fine. It will kind of even itself out. If it's a long, long way down, you may have to um, rip back a couple of rows. But okay, I hope that makes sense. Thank you for watching and um, you can see loads more tutorials on my website. Go to www.yarnaddict.co.uk and click on tutorials.